How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. I'm about to, uh, I saw one of you guys commented on the last video or the video before that I needed to put a new dash pad in the truck um, before I put the dash in and I already did have one on the way. I just got it today from LMC. Um, it was like 260 bucks and basically they'll give you just the entire new dash pad. It's not something that you stick over and glue it on, but um, it's just the dash, it's the whole pad. So um, why I have the dash out, it would be stupid for me to put it back together and then have to take it out and change it again. So uh, real quick, we're just gonna pop this thing open. I already have the dash sat in the truck. Here's the old one that came out. And I guess these are I'm kind of sketched out about putting it in, but buddy from work said he just did one and uh he said they're really strong the plastic's a lot better material so he said not to worry about cracking it. he said you won't be able to crack it so makes me feel good about it but i'm gonna pop this box open if i can and we are changing the interior color over to the agate so i went ahead and got the darker um i believe this is supposed to be the agate color which it definitely is yeah it's the darker one so Get this thing stuck in here, here to fit. Packed very nicely as well. LMC always does a pretty good job packaging stuff. So here you guys have it. So I'll put you guys on time lapse and I'll try to stick this thing in the truck. Okay guys, I got everything pretty much wrapped up at this point. Now I'm just gonna pick up all these tools, get this stuff all cleaned up. Overall, this wasn't really that big of a deal, just a lot of small, tedious stuff to unhook and hook up, but got the dash in, so we should be done inside the cab for now just to get this thing dry. All right guys, we got the dash completely installed. It took me around two, three hours to get everything completely wrapped up, but totally worth it, and it looks so much better. Um, there was a couple screws up here I couldn't get in, so, and the tabs that were on the firewall were broken. So um, I kind of had to make do with what I had and um, basically has one screw in the middle and then has one over here, I believe, but it's missing one over here, but it doesn't really, doesn't really hurt it at all. Um, I just didn't have the plastic tabs. I was trying to steal them out of Mason's cab and I broke every single one that I tried to get out. I tried to go rob them out of the half ton truck, couldn't get them out. And just for one little screw, I'm not really that worried about it. I'm not gonna order it and not put it in because I mean it literally it's it's rock solid. I don't think it's gonna squeak or anything, but yeah, I got the thing sweeped out here. It's looking awesome. Interior cleaned up really, really good. Probably just leave these seats in it for now. i they're kind of growing on me, but um, the cup holder is a shade off, and then the under the steering wheel is a shade off, and then I'll have to get door panels. These I have to get from a junkyard, and then the ones in the back. So one, two, three, four. I got a half a dozen. Well, that's a different color too. I got seven interior pieces. Well, those two. I got nine interior pieces. Well, these two. Eleven. I got twelve. I, so I have a dozen interior pieces that I need to get. But I mean, I'll be able to get them probably pretty cheap at a junkyard. Um, hopefully, I can find this collar though. I know it's kind of the rear one. But uh. Yeah, we'll be able to get that stuff eventually, so catch up with you guys at some point. I don't really know how much more we're going to work on tonight, so worst case scenario, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, um, it's the next day now. Eli's over here, and we're about to go for a little ride in his truck. I want to show you guys. You guys remember we uh, put a transmission in this thing um, a couple months back, so you can see the truck now and see the progress that he's got on it.
getting hot? Yeah, I forgot that was on there. You don't want to do burnouts. Alright guys, um, I kind of, they they both left, me and uh, my girlfriend Caitlin, we're about to go do our Valentine's Day, we haven't done Valentine's Day because I was out of town last week, but um, anyways, pretty excited to show you guys this, um, it's in here on the lift, so I can't really, you guys can't really see it that well, but um, you guys know I've been wanting a truck for a while, a truck that I can actually use, um, I basically always have to brother borrow my brother's trucks which they're always we always help each other out me and my brothers and everyone if i need a truck i can get one but um it's just kind of uh you know I, I don't really like to ask all the time to have to borrow something from somebody um which it's not a big deal they don't care it's just um it's more convenient if i need to go do something I, i'll have my own truck that's actually a, a truck and not just a toy like this thing but um i wanted to go get a newer one but really i just can't afford a new truck right now they're so the, the payments on them are just extremely expensive and I just don't think it's a very good decision So I did go with something a little lower budget and we are gonna have to fix it up. It doesn't currently drive right now I mean it moves but um, It's pretty nice. I'll sneak by it here real quick so I can turn the lights on. I think this is the bad side over here Yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the bad side first and then you can see the good side So <clears throat> here it is This is my new I, I have 100% intentions of right now of keeping this, fixing it up, and having it as my own personal work truck slash you can drive it in the winter, everything. I'm tired of making you guys wait, so here it is. It's 2001 Dodge Ram. It's a 01 four-wheel drive, automatic. It's a sport truck, factory sport truck. It's got the sport bumper on the front. It kind of needs a line that's kind of out of whack right now. But Derek, you guys know Derek. Last couple videos ago, we went to his house. He picked this thing up. He was going to fix it. He got it over here last night. We were going to start messing with the trans. And we were able to just make a deal on it, and I ended up getting it off him. Um, yeah, here it is, guys. This is my new project truck. Well, not really. Not See, that's see. I need to, I need to stop saying it. I bought this with Nintendo. It's just going to be a daily driver. It's not going to be a project. I'm not going to do a ton of work to it. I'm just going to get it driving. I'm going to use it as a truck. If I need to go do something, I'll have my own truck. Um, I have pretty much all the parts, I think, to fix it so i think it either needs a torque converter or the forward clutches and the transmission are just shot it'll pull fine in reverse but if you put it in drive um it really really struggles to be able to move itself so i think the forward clutches in the trans which i have one sitting over here i'll show you guys clutches i guess you can't really see it but in this drum behind this band there's a couple sets of clutches and i think those are the ones that are smoked in it um, but I have all kinds of parts laying around, so I think we're going to be able to fix this thing pretty easily and have us a good, reliable truck, and it's pretty much everything I want in a truck, minus it's not a dually. I really wanted a dually, but I'll make an exception for this. Hopefully, I can find someone that wants to swap me out of this bed, and we'll basically convert it to a dually, and they can convert their truck to single wheel. So, there it is. I'll show you guys better clips of it. <laughs> Kind of get a glimpse of the interior. It's a little rough around the edges. I mean, it's 320,000 mile truck, but for for what we want, this is pretty much perfect and definitely within the budget of things. Um, it does have some Bondo. It looks like it was hit here. It was hit all down the side here. There's like a small crease going down it, and there's like an eighth inch of Bondo on this door, so it was in a collision at some point. I'm pretty sure this whole door, like this whole area right here is Bondo, and then this fender has been Bondoed. So really just fenders, and realign the bumper and that's the only body work that it really needs it's just two fenders align the body work and i might be able to get that fixed i might have to put one door on it but guys it's not a big deal and we're not in a stupid stupid expensive truck in this thing there's a bubble right there but i really like it i'm really happy with it i'll catch up with you guys at some point maybe i'll push it outside and you guys can really get a better view of it i don't know
What's up guys? Uh, it's Sunday now. We're going on day three of this video, but I'm trying to uh, figure out what's wrong with the... This thing has like a dead pedal. It'll only rev to about 2,000 RPMs. I'm trying to figure it out. I've already put a new TPS sensor on it. Well, I used one that I know is good. Put a uh, used TPS sensor on it and uh, still getting the same code. It's showing the circuit coming out of its low, which I have five volts going in and I know the sensor's working. So it doesn't really make sense to me other than the ECM is just wrong because it's bad. So um, I'm gonna try one last thing and then I'm gonna pull the ECM off. I'm gonna go stick it on a truck that I know is good and then we'll just go from there. Because if I put it on the truck, if I put it on a truck that I know doesn't have any issues, I was gonna borrow some of the ECM to stick on this, but I don't want something on the truck to like fry it. So if I fry another one, I want it to be my fault. Um, and I'll just have to buy myself one, not someone else one. But uh, basically I'm gonna take the ECM off this one, go put it on another truck, see if the same issues present themselves before I go buy an ECM. There would be, you know, I'm sure a proper way to go through and um, you know check all this, but this is just a lot faster and these trucks are pretty common, so it's not hard. I mean, I know several people that have them. So I'll do this real quick. This is exactly what happened to Skyler's truck a couple weeks ago and it, was, it ended up being the ECM, so we're gonna see. Okay guys, I just got back from uh, Eli's house. The guy that was here yesterday with the 12 off truck, he let me take, I took the ECM off of this truck and I put it on his and on his truck, it revs up fine. No check engine light, everything's good. So I'm leaning, I personally think at this point it's the VP44. I'd really like to confirm it. I don't wanna just start throwing parts at it without a proper diagnosis. Um, but basically that TPS communicates with the ECM and the VP and the VP could basically just not be happy because something's wrong with it. And then it would tell that it's the TPS. So I don't really know 100%, but we're gonna take a break on that. We will figure that out, it's not a big deal. Um, we'll figure it out, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work, but for right now, check my lift points real quick. We're gonna stick this thing up in the air and we are going to pull the transmission out of it. And I'm gonna see if I can at least get it out today and um, verify that my issue is the forward clutches in it. So. I'm gonna lift this thing up in there and we will start working on it, see if we can get the trans out. We'll get a spot over there cleaned out on the table for it. I gotta move some stuff around. The garage is an absolute mess right now. I got too much going on. But um, yeah, let's see if we can get this thing up in there, get the trans out, see what's wrong with it. Okay guys, we got the transmission out of her. Looks like it does have an upgraded uh, torque converter. Um, I'm gonna get this thing over on the bench here and we'll just kind of go from there and start checking everything out. But that's what we got going on. Just knock stuff out on her. Looks like it's got stock flex play. Everything up there is pretty much stock, so let's keep going. Transmission out of the truck. This is the one that came out of it. Um, we pulled the forward clutches out of it. And you can see them welded together. These two pieces should separate. This drum, the second gear drum, should separate from this piece here that the input shaft is. This is all one piece. You can see it kind of wiggle. But the clutches are all welded together inside of it, so it won't come apart. It should just fall down right now. But given the fact that I have other transmissions, what we're going to do is we're going to use parts from Fulman's transmission. We're going to use parts from that one, probably this shell, maybe that shell. But we're basically just going to go through. I'm going to put a good used valve body that I know is good in it. I'm going to put a good used torque converter that I know is good. And I'm gonna basically just disassemble, probably, I'll probably just go ahead and disassemble that one completely down to nothing, uh, minus the overdrive housing, because I already know this one's good. So, I mean, really not a lot of work to do here, just a lot of cleaning to get everything clean. We'll put a new filter in it, and we'll put it back in the truck, and we should, I mean, at that point, we should be good. So, that's gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys on the next one.